And what's your what's your cost? How what would you you know what's your number? Like about let's what? say Sorry. Michael Jackson approached you, mm-hmm. wants you to make his face whiter and his nose thinner and his age younger, uh, and he's offering a million a month. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, the thing is, <laughs> the thing is that you're asking a very good question. It comes back to fundamentally why you're practicing medicine. If you're practicing medicine to have a bunch of Ferraris in the garage, then you will say yes to that offer. If you're practicing medicine, I know you're going to think this is violin time um, because you want to help people, then you will say no to, to that sort of thing. And here's the thing that people don't realize that often the doctor who says no, I have a lot of patients who ask me for for drugs that are addictive or sleep medicines that start off being innocuous but committed. The doctor who says no, which I do quite a lot of the time, is a doctor looking after your best interests. The, yeah. the doctor who says yes all the time to whatever you're asking for is not usually the doctor's looking after your mm. best interests. Which takes us back to trans. What about from the perspective of the adult celebrities? Is there some, I'm thinking of 15 years earlier, a lot of them, Angelina Jolie, Madonna, were adopting children. That seems to be a fashion. And now the fashion sting. Cynthia Nixon, David Tennant, uh, a lot of these, they've got trans kids. Is this just another iteration of what was going on with the adoption stuff? Well, I'm going to say something that's going to make me very unpopular with my celebrity clients <laughs> and celebrities in general. I mean, being a celebrity requires a huge amount of work because usually you're successful because of your career. It's a very competitive career. You devote yourself, you know, 24-7 to your career as an actor, people come with blockbuster film proposals, you don't say no because you're looking after your career. You can't be a great athlete, win the gold medal 100 meters in the Olympics, um, win the gold medal in uh, tennis, or be um, a world-famous Oscar-winning actor and a great dad as well. I'm sorry, or a great husband. You can't do it. You have to go one way or the other. So People will marry you because of who you are, but you're very unlikely to be a loving and caring husband because you can't wow. divide your attention up with all those different things. You're not necessarily a terrible human being, but your focus has to be somewhere. You can't be focused on your children and um, an A-list um, Oscar-winning actor. Because if you were really focused on your children and the children fall ill or get ADHD or something, you have to ring up Martin Scorsese and say, I can't come into work today. My kid's not well. Mm. That's not an acceptable answer in Hollywood. Okay, so you can't have it both ways. I'm, I'm, I'm saying something really slightly dark, but my experience of ultra successful people is, yeah, they're, they're great at winning the 100 meters in the Olympics, but they're not going to be a great dad and um, a, a great husband at mm-hmm. the same time. Very difficult. And, yeah. and I, I, I don't think that's a terrible thing to say. I just think it's part of the deal. And yeah. most people around them understand that. Deal. I think so. I think so. And then so would that mean they might be being a bit selfish with regards to... Because I think some of them have been pushing the kids into this. Well, that's what I'm trying to say. I, th- I think that w- w- <laughs> having children to a celebrity is not the, quite the same project as it is to other people who are focused on being a parent. There's, ah. there's something else going on. Um, and what, they're not, what, is, what is that? Well, they're not focused on looking after children. So they're, it's almost like they're going through the motions of, I'm a human being, human beings get married, they have children. Yeah, but you can't do that properly and pay attention to your children and be thinking about what your children really need. Mm. And so that's why often these celebrities have lots of children, not realizing that actually the more children you have, mm. less attention per child, the more likely there's going to be trouble. Mm. Um, they're having a lot of children because they have the money that means they can do it and they can afford the childcare. And they're not realizing it's not quite the same project as being a hands-on parent. But what, what pushes them to push their kids to, to turn trans? Is it to show them off at Oscar parties i don't know the definitive answer to that but i think it's part of the same thing that we do see seem to see that a lot of celebrities give very strange names to their children yes. that was the vogue before the whole trans thing began i can't remember is it frank zappo called one of his children moon unit or something right, like that <laughs> but anyway there are lots of uh, and so that that is something about attention and uniqueness there's something about celebrities that they get addicted to being a bit different to getting attention and being unique mm. and therefore they give their kids strange names because they think that's part of what the answer mm. to life the universe and everything is it is not it's very unwise to give your children a strange name they're going to be a target for bullying throughout childhood yeah. so give them a relatively straightforward ordinary name it's fine <laughs> it's a bit of a vicarious 
uniqueness that the celebrities mm. are grabbing through their children, like yeah. an extension of their own uniqueness that is already very important to them yeah. through the children. And the other thing that happens with celebrities is unlike you and I, who are surrounded by wives and people who will say, no, that's a really bad idea. <laughs> Don't do that. These people are surrounded by yes people who, when they go, oh, I'm thinking of naming my child Moon Unit. What do you think? Mm. They'll go, amazing. Wonderful idea. <laughs> Bloody You're hell. You're a genius. I've got. Um, we need people to say no to us. It's very helpful in life. No, we don't. 